Nobody wants to watch their kid continuously have seizures. I will never forget the worst thing my son ever asked me was, was he gonna die? No parent should experience that. It's not just a seizure disorder, it's actual brain loss. The more brain loss you have, the worse your outcome is going to be. We saw them just happening more frequently, more severe. They looked more intense. Sometimes you just hold your head and, you know, you just, you want to scream. We just wanted to find anything to help them be seizure free. Ongoing seizures have a huge impact on a developing brain. Adriel and Randall both had seizures that were coming from one whole side of the brain. They both had drug-resistant epilepsy. The earlier we can consider epilepsy surgery and the earlier we can achieve seizure freedom, we allow the brain to be able to achieve its full potential. Adriel and Randall both had hemispherectomy surgeries with the endoscopic hemispherectomy technique. A hemispherectomy surgery entails disconnecting or taking out half of a brain so that we can allow the good side of the brain to function to its full potential. The thought of Adriel going through surgery was very scary, just knowing that he was so little. Dr. Lamb, she just, she made us feel really secure. With her procedure, she at the time was only one of three people in the world that used her technique. Hemispherectomy surgery has gone through evolution over time. And it is through research that we have been able to innovate and get better and better. It's a surgery that's typically done with a large incision, a large craniotomy, and she can do the same surgery through a much smaller corridor. Smaller incisions mean less pain, less bleeding, lower risk of infection. It means that we can get kids and their families home sooner. RJ has had not one seizure since. He runs now, he plays basketball, he's in Taekwondo. Without that surgery, he could not have done all of that. The only way that my child's outcome was made possible was through funding and research. As a neurosurgeon, research is not only how to do surgeries better, it's also how can we be part of the cure. Sandy and I are both interested in the cell-to-cell -cell interactions in the brains of a child with epilepsy. I can apply some of the techniques in the laboratory with some of the patients and the samples that she obtains during surgery. The things we're seeing right now, I can tell you are very exciting. Organizations like the Children's Research Fund are so important. Research does not happen in a vacuum. Clinical trial, developing new therapies, takes a huge team of people. Adriel and Randall don't have seizures anymore, so they really can reconnect with their families and they have their whole lives ahead of them.